Welcome back to the Lady Buff Brick Care, Lady Buff Classic, here from Brick Care Court at the Box, campus of West Texas A&M University, Lucas Kinsey. Back with you here for the third match of the day. The last one we had, West Texas A&M and Southwestern Oklahoma State battled through four sets, and West Texas A&M took the match 3-1. They were pretty close all through, though. So for this third match today, we will see Armac versus Lone Star Conference. It will be from the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, Adam State, who we have seen a few times uh, over the last two days, and a scrappy team that is still looking for their first victory, but has showed some flashes, showed some signs and some promise that I know head coach Lindy Mortensen has got to feel good about. It's just they, they would like to, as this is their last their last match, they would like to finish up with a win, obviously, uh, and, and instead of being 0-3, go back home to Colorado 1-3 one, one uh, as opposed to 0-4. Now on the other side for UT Permian Basin, the Falcons, as we look at yesterday, they defeated Southwestern Oklahoma State in the first match of the entire tournament, 3-1. to one. And then in their second match, they lost against St. Edwards, 3-1. So 1-1 one one yesterday. And today, so far, UT Permian Basin started the day off strong with a sweep over Fort Lewis University, 3-0. So, all in all, 2-1 for the Falcons from Odessa, Texas. And they'll try to make it 3-1 after this one here against Adams State University. Look at some of the players here for UT Permian Basin. Some of the outstanding hitters and uh, back row players from yesterday. Night number 19, Equinicia, Equincia, excuse me, Equincia Strambler, 5'8 senior from Midland, Texas. She was really good yesterday. Annalise Lasio, the setter. Tori McGee, middle blocker. She wears number 10. She was very good yesterday. And also Natanya Allison. Uh, an outside hitter for the Falcons. Their head coach is Tim Loesch in his seventh season in Odessa. On the other side for Adam State, they have some talented players mentioned. Even in the losses, they've looked good. Number five, Shannon Mulkey has been very solid. Number nine, Cy Collins, one of their better hitters. And on the back row, we have seen the libero do some great things throughout the tournament. Sierra Sanchez, where's number one? So we'll have this match, and then the final match of the day at the box will be West Texas A&M hosting Arkansas Fort Smith. Officials come out and gives us, a, gives us a chance to look at who's out on the court for UT Permian Basin, number nine, Azella Murillo, number five, Natanya Allison. The Libero, number three, Daly Doggett. Number 10, Tori McGee. And up at the net, number 11, Stephanie Sanchez. First attack is good for a kill for Adams State. So a quick 1-0 lead for the Grizzlies. Back to serve. The libero Sanchez. Big swing, but handled on the back row nicely by number four, Bugas. <clears throat> but the result of the play is a kill for the Falcons. They get that one down. And 
And the serve coming from Doggett. Had to go down to get that one. They did. Mulkey gets it over. And it's a kill as she went through the block of Chandra Reed and also Natanya Allison. Another look at that one. Mulkey, she's done a lot of that this weekend. On the outside, they actually tried the right side that time and a block touch. Good save for the Grizzlies. Teams go back and forth trying to win the point. Allison finds the back and puts it down. The junior from Shirts, Texas with the kill. And so we're tied 2-2 coming in to serve. Is Carly Stanley, 5'8", setter from Sanger, Texas. Mulkey tried to slide, but Doggett was there to get the up. Big swing, but a misfire. And that will give the, well, I thought it was going to give the Grizzlies a point, but they say a touch against Adams State, and so that should be the Falcons point. Wendy Mortensen will go ahead and use her first challenge. So Mortensen felt like it was not touched. The call was a touch and out, so a point to University of Texas Permian Basin. Very quickly into the set and the match, we have our first review. We'll step aside, take a little break, come back and see what the official's call is. You're watching UT Permian Basin and Adam State here on the Lone Star Conference Digital Network. Still overlooking at the monitor to see whether this kill attempt was touched or not. If the call stands, it will be point for the Falcons off the touch from Adams State. Official comes out. No touch. So Lindy Mortensen wins the challenge. Grizzlies head coach does, and Adams State wins that point. And we'll have a sub in to serve for Adam State. Number 19, Keely Shea Sepega, 5'3 freshman from California, Long Beach, California. Again, opening set of the match here for the Battle of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference and the Lone Star Conference. On the slide, block, point, Grizzlies. Combo for number nine, Cy Collins, with some help from the setter, Bailey Schlosser, who was really good in their opening match today against Arkansas Fort Smith. Free ball here for Adams. Allison. Actually, that was Collins on the kill with a little touch. The change up shot works. And the Grizzlies off to a good start. They lead 5 2. Timeout taken by Coach Loesch of the Falcons, trying to get his team going. We'll take one as well. With a quick score of 5-2, Adam State with the lead. The Brick Care Lady Buff Classic continues after these messages. In 80 years, the Lone Star Conference has been committed to excellence. 
What began in 1931 as a five-team conference has grown to 18 institutions spanning four states. And while membership has changed, the pursuit of athletic success and academic excellence has never wavered. 119 national championships, over 2,000 All-Americans, and nearly 300 academic All-Americans. Celebrating many years of success, this is the Lone Star Conference. WT Back to the action here, and a service error for Adam State will lead to a point for UTPB. Three serving five is handling the ball now. Natanya Allison, the junior from Shirts. Getting a good start to the season for UTPB. Winning one of their matches yesterday and starting the day off today with a win. So they're trying to finish this classic off with a nice 3-1 and one record. Adam State 0-3 looking for a first victory of the season. Block on the outside, Cy Collins. Just one of those players that can do a lot of different things. Definitely has the vertical, can get up and put the ball down in terms of killing percentage, but also can block, can pass. Six rotation player, no doubt. That was a service ace on the last shot there. 8-3, the ace from Shannon Mulkey. Block touch, good defense by Adams. They're going to get an opportunity for Collins. Block touch on the other side for the Falcons. Collins will try again, floats it to the back. Goodness, at the net right now, the Grizzlies have just set up a fort right there, the wall. Nobody's getting through. They did this three times on the third one, which is right here. It results in a point. Great start for the Grizzlies. 9-3 lead. The serve over from Mulkey. Good pass. Collins times up the jump. Handled on the opposite end from Allison. Good communication. And that will drop down. Good for a point for UT per Permian Basin. Two teams went back and forth. That ball kind of sitting up on the, net, on the net there. Grizzlies couldn't handle it. So it will be serving for the Falcons number 17, Chandra Reed. They set it to C Collins, handled on the up. Free ball here for Adams. <laughs> that was a big kill right there in the middle, and Sierra Sanchez having a little fun with it. Just nothing she could do about that. She was in position off that block. And gave it to Quincia Strambler. And then Macy Barker with the uh, block assist. Service error leads to a point for Adams State. 9-5 lead for the Grizzlies. On the attack, that's in. That's a kill. Good for Strambler. Wearing that bulky uh, knee brace there on the left leg. Athletic player. We saw her in action yesterday against St. Edwards. and She's a talented player, no doubt. Six serving, ten. High toss on the serve. Grizzlies run the slide, and that's a kill off of the touch. Give the point to Chasey Blocky. Chasey Block, excuse me, her first kill. So 11 will serve six with... Eileen Bugas. Oh, 
good eyes. They watch that one go out of bounds and the point to the Grizzlies. They double up on the Falcons 12-6. Jump serve, skims over the net. The elevation and the delivery from Aquincia Strambler. Falcons trying to get back in this thing. Seven serving 12. Back set. Handled by the Falcons. And that the line judge right there to see that ball drop in on a big swing, big kill from Chandra Reed. Tip good. As Riley Rabideau gets going. She was impressive in the first match of the day against Arkansas Fort Smith all over the court. Back to a five-point advantage for Adams State, but then a point on the other side. Delivery from UTPB. That's the lead to four. Big swing. Good job on the replay there. That was Tori McGee give the assist to Annalise Lucio. One touch dig and Mulkey sends it over. Good defense by Adam State. They do it again. Look at the Grizzlies win the points. Phenomenal defense. Tried him once, tried him twice, and then got it right there. Nice job. Good dig on the back from Sierra Sanchez. They'll push it outside to Rabideau. Good dig opposite from the Falcons, number 16, Lucio. Ball goes out, point to Adam State. And that will put the ball in the hands of Alexandra McCaskill, freshman from Grand Junction. She'll serve. Back set. Block touch. Kept alive by the Falcons. Should have an opportunity here. Mulkey terminates right down the pipe. So the score now goes to 16-9, and for Mulkey, her third kill of the match. Good serve over. Back set, and Mulkey finds a hole again. It'll be 17-9, the score, and a timeout taken by Coach Loesch, second one already here in the first set. We'll step aside, come back with more volleyball action, the Brick Care Lady Buff Classic, after these messages here on the Lone Star Conference Digital Network. Welcome to MetaDrive Pharmacy, Canyon's hometown pharmacy for over 32 years. We greet you by name, and our pharmacists take the time to counsel you and answer all your questions. Our Health Mart Pharmacy specializes in serving our community with fast, friendly, professional service, and the highest quality medicines and health products. We accept most insurance plans, including Medicaid and Medicare, and we offer free in-town delivery to your home or business. Come visit us for all your health care needs. This is what a new heart valve looks like. This is what a bypassed artery looks like. And this is what a repaired aortic aneurysm looks like. The BSA Heart and Vascular Team is here to help you live life to the fullest. From our state-of-the-art cardiac technologies to our dedicated heart specialists, our goal is to help you take the very best care of your heart so you can enjoy everything else that matters to you. BSA for life. Out of the timeout, UT Permian Basin trying to find some momentum as they're down 17-9 in the first set. Adam State Grizzlies 
with a big advantage. They're hitting 333. Falcons negative numbers, a negative .36 back set. That'll help those numbers. It's a kill for Stephanie Sanchez, junior from El Paso. Substitutes in on both sides. Number eight coming in to serve. Stanley. Back set. Mulkey on the slide. Was there a touch? There was. Point. Will go to Adam State off of a touch on the kill. So it's now back up to an eight point lead. 18 10 the score. And in to serve again for Adam State. Brooke over down the middle. Good defense to keep that ball alive. Mulkey will try to find an opening, but the ball goes out. Point back to the Falcons. 11. Should be 11 serving 18 now. Again, Falcons just haven't been able to get into a rhythm yet. They've had seven kills, seven attack errors, though. on 30 attempts. Collins goes up, block touch, falls out, point Adam State. Another point for the green and gray Grizzlies. Adam State out of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference and located in Alamosa, Colorado. We have the official coming over to the monitor to look at something. Let's step aside, take a quick timeout, come back and we'll see what uh, comes out of this one. Adam State with the 19-11 lead over UT Permian Basin. You're watching the Brick Care Lady Buff Classic here on the Lone Star Conference Digital Network. For 90 years, the Lone Star Conference has been committed to excellence. What began in 1931 as a five-team conference has grown to 18 institutions spanning four states. And while membership has changed, the pursuit of athletic success and academic excellence has never wavered. 119 national championships, over 2,000 All-Americans, and nearly 300 academic All-Americans. Celebrating many years of success, this is the Lone Star Conference. The third match of the day. Right now, the scores you see there, Adam State leads over UT Permian Basin. Right now, by the score of... 19 to 11. Tim Loesch huddled up with his team on one side, talking to the Falcons. On the other side, Shannon Mulkey, the captain, talking to the Grizzlies. And still a look at the review over there. Not sure what they were reviewing. The, the kill was good for Cy Collins. They gave the assist to Bailey Schlosser. Of course, the Falcons, a team that West Texas A&M fans will see this season in the Lone Star Conference play, obviously. Official looks like they're ready to come out and <laughs> give a decision. Maybe. <laughs> Confirmed point, Adam State. So we looked at it, looked at it hard, but it stays as, as called. And Mulkey ready to serve. Works the back row. Set outside, and the kill goes through. Nice job there for number 19, Aquincia Strambler. Good job defensively. The swipe taken back 
from Bugas. Next to that was Sepega, and then a whistle. Double touch violation against the Falcons. Gives the point back to Adam State, 20 to 12, Grizzlies lead. Left-handed serve, over. And Scrambler has some hang time. She shows it right there. Gets that kill down. Her fifth of the match. She's hitting 333. Good job on the replay there. And the Falcons have the serve. They trail seven points. 13 serving 20. High toss again. And it goes out of bounds. Service error. Point back to Adams State. Grizzlies have been in cruise control up to this point in the match, or in the first set, I should say. Jump serve coming over from Bugas. Strambler, that time they got a block touch, block touch on it, so they slowed it down. And there's a nice slicing kill from the right side by number 13, Alexandra McCaskill. Another look at it. Back set, right side, nice. And then coming back, number 10, Tori McGee is able to get the kill for Permian Basin. Cuts the lead back to eight. And it will be 14, serving 22. Excellent serve, nearly an ace from Isela Murillo. And that was a great connection, perfect assist. And the point finished off by Natanya Allison. That looked good. So UTPB trails by seven. Now they trail by six. Attack error from April Egwu. Lead cut to six. 16 serving, 22. Rabido tries it, gets it through off the block, and gets the kill. Block touch, they keep it alive. Set up to Mulkey, good defense to keep the play going. And then again, Tori McGee, she's doing some good damage there from the middle. Gets the point, 17, will be serving 23. Jump serve from Doggett, handled. Mulkey is gonna go with a soft touch. It was blocked back, and then that will be a kill on the outside from Rabideau. So now to set point quickly here, 24 serving 17, a chance for the Grizzlies to finish this thing off. As you see, the shot, last one from Rabideau. And it will be a service ace that will finish it off. The Grizzlies. Look strong in the first set. They win it 25 to 17. We'll take an extended timeout here, come back and start the second set. This is the Brick Care Lady Buff Volleyball Classic from Canyon, Texas, and we're back with more after this timeout. WT student athletes drink low fat chocolate milk post workout because it helps replenish and restore muscles quickly to their peak potential. Scientific studies suggest that the immediate benefits of low-fat chocolate milk include boosted performance, improved training, and higher recovery rates in athletes. Add low-fat chocolate milk to your post-workout routine. Go Bucks! 
doors and windows began serving the Texas Panhandle in 1927, and we take pride in being a part of your neighborhood. We don't use false promises or gimmicks. We simply offer quality doors and windows at a fair price, and we stand behind every sale. Jenkins is family-owned and operated and proudly continues the traditions of quality and excellence that started over 80 years ago. Call us at 372-4336 or stop by our showroom at 820 West 6th and let our knowledgeable staff help you pick out the perfect doors and windows for your home. First set goes to Adam State as they win it 25 to 17. Let's look at the statistics. All Grizzlies right now, 344 hitting percentage, just 132 for the Falcons. And then two service aces for the Adam State Grizzlies. Kills pretty even, but one of the things that has not been even is attack errors. Seven attack errors against the Falcons, just two committed by Adam States. So we'll start the second set. Adam State again looked strong in that first one. This is one, it's the last match of the day for these two teams. And so you got tired legs. Coaches want to see who can push through and be tough, not only physically, but mentally. To start this second set, it will be the libero, Sierra Sanchez. Mulkey tried to win that one at the net. Violation against the Falcons point, Adam State. Pass a little off. They still get it over. Now Rabideau tries. Good job communicating there as the entire back row was screaming out as soon as it came off of Rabideau's hand. They knew that she had hit that one a little too strong. So we're tied 1-1. Good stab on the dig there to keep it alive, but it falls out of bounds. Two points in a row there for UTPB. And the Falcons have the lead, two serving one. See if Tim Loesch's team can get some more momentum going in the second set. They just never grabbed it in the first, losing 25-17. Serve over from McCaskill. And now out of system. They said to put it over. UTPB did. Strambler pushes it over and gets the kill. The toughness at the net there from Aquincia Strambler. See it right here. You know, she goes up and pushes it, but also kind of slides that shot at an angle where the Grizzlies had trouble handling it. And they had trouble handling that serve, but good hustle from McGaskill keeps the live free ball. Now for the Falcons. Point, another good shot there. The kill for Macy Barker. And that's what 
Coaches say you should do with free a free ball. You should turn that into your transition offense and get some points. Rabideau gets it through the block and down for the points. Three serving four now. With number 19, Sepega, the server, Strambler. Hangs and delivers. Big kill from the outside. So they're going to Strambler a lot here, and they should. She's got seven kills, and she's hitting 308. Good set. That time by Devin Alcoser. Pass, they get it out to Collins, and it's a kill. Perfectly placed shot. Teams go back and forth, it'll be four serving five on the floor. Now for the Falcons, a player that did some good things yesterday. That's number 22, Sarah Antic, a big hitter out of Serbia, transfer from the University of North Dakota. And she does just that, hits a Big shot there. Oh, Cy Collins. This is how you do it right here. Bump set, high enough for Collins to take the elevator to the top and terminate. Good eyes from McCaskill. She watches that one fly by her and fall out. Six six the score. Nice job getting that ball back in play. Roll shot doesn't work. They get it outside to Collins. Nice dig from McCaskill. Collins tries. Big block touch. They play on. Collins has got to get it over. She rolls it. And that's out. Hit the top, hit the roof. Adam State wins the point and takes the lead. That'll be a point, Adam State there. Extending their lead up to two. Eight serving six. as it's Bailey Schlosser. Good pass right there from Schlosser. They get it back to Collins. Tries to find an opening in the back. Here's a set. Back to McCaskill. Nothing going. The play on. Collins. That's how the Adams State fans want things done. So it'll be nine serving six. Service error will give the ball back to and the point to the Falcons. Seven serving nine coming in for the serve. Number 16, Annalise Lucio out of Justin, Texas. And another point falls there for UTPB. Nice job. Falcons, after getting down by three, now trail by one. Eight serving nine. Six, seven, 
Grizzlies trying to get back in system. And it's a kill down the pipe from McCaskill. Serve coming from the Grizzlies. Hard, hard swing from Antic. I mean, she can really wind up and deliver, but the Grizzlies do a good job of getting it back in play on the next attempt. An attack error from Antic. It goes into the net, and the point goes back to Adam State. Big swing, good pass. Joust at the net, controlled for the Grizzlies. Rabideau will go at it. Man, she does a good job on that outside. The timing was there as we look at it again on the replay. Tools it off the block and collects the kill, and Adam State extends their lead to four. Good defense by Doggett. Neither team able to really get a strong attack yet. That was a decent swipe at it, but Doggett was there again for a dig. Slide, and that shot is out. Was there a touch? No, point to the Falcons. So it'll be nine serving, 12. In system here, Slosser, oh, just missed on that, uh, on that set. She did not put enough oomph on her set. Left it short, and the mistake leads to a point for UTPB. Good hustle on the dig on the back row. Strambler floats, delivers, but it's handled by Sanchez. And that one gets through. McCaskill. The block was set up, but as you'll see here on the replay, she just powers it right through. Service error point back to UTPB. Dog it to serve. Soft touch, but the Grizzlies were up and ready for it. Rabideau, oh my goodness. She hits that one. Give credit to the defender there. Number nine. Isela Murillo for getting in front of that ball. It ricochets off of her jersey and out of bounds. Nice dig to keep it alive for the Falcons. Slide and good defense to get it back over from Lucio, but it will result in a point by Adams State on a kill off the touch. Look at that dive there, keep that ball alive. The swing and a touch point, Adam State. Strambler nearly found an opening. Great dive on the dig from Bugas. Block touch, Falcons try again. Strambler, nobody's touching that one. For Strambler, her eighth kill of the match. She's hitting 375. On the other side for Adam State, three players each with six kills. Shannon Mulkey, Cy Collins, and Riley Rabideau. Tip shot, perfect. Riley Rabideau has had a great day today.
know, Rabideau, a player that has a lot of power in her swing, but she's learning how to place the ball. Rabideau, a freshman out of the state of Washington. Nice block touch from Cy Collins and Mulkey as it's not easy to get your hands on one of those kill attempts from Strambler, but that's what they did right there. Point to the Grizzlies. Lucio puts it back to Strambler and it should be t a point for the Falcons. It was touched. So UTPB gets that kill there. Another one from Strambler. She'll come out, get a breather. After collecting her ninth kill, 13 serves 17. Nice high set, but a good block from UTPB. April Egwu in the middle, along with some help from number 13, Macy Barker. Yeah, that's how the block's done right there. We need emojis uh, when you get some kills like that because you could think of a few that you could put up. Look at this one, Mulkey, straight down. I think that may have hit the defender's foot. Mulkey's a talented player. Collins, she's talented too. Tries to tool the block, but it stays in play for the Falcons. A whistle violation against Adam State will give the point to UTPB, 15-18. Service ace there for the Falcons. Nice job by April Egwu, freshman from Little Elm, Texas. Falcons in transition. Misfire. Got to get it over. And they... Do. Adam State thought it was four touch there. Doesn't matter, they get the point off of a soft touch shot kill from Chasey Block. There's a good dig for the Grizzlies and Violation on the attack from Collins, double touch called. Point to the Falcons, so 17 will be serving 19. First set went to Adams State, they won 25 17. Down the middle, McCaskill. One hand stab goes into the bleachers, and so it's a kill for McCaskill. She's had a strong for, uh, start here. Five kills on 10 attacks. A couple of digs as well for number 13. 20 serving 17. If you're Adam State, can you finish it off here? Five points away from a 2 0 lead. What a block in the middle. By Chasey Block. Just born to be a middle blocker there with the last name. Up for the kill is Antic. Again, crushes that ball. That's the lead back to three. 18 will be serving 21. Good for the Falcons. 
Big defensive play there as we watch that one again. Grizzlies were set up, but the roof was set, and a nice job there for UTPB, 19 serving 21. Block assist for Natanya Allison and Tori McGee. One-handed set, one-handed push. And the Falcons, look at the Falcons roaring back. Natanya Allison connects on a kill from the outside. Some, some momentum for UTPB. And head coach Lindy Mortensen will take a timeout to talk things over with her Grizzlies. We're back after this timeout. You're watching the Brick Care Lady Buff Classic on the Lone Star Conference Digital Network. walk-on athlete. They train long, put their heart into the game. This is the passion we're built on. It's why we put our heart into creating game day with a taste of Louisiana. Walk-ons, we live for this. Okay, Adam State. Won the first set, and they lead the second set right now, but only by one point, 21-20. The Falcons have stormed back. Sarah Antic, a couple of kills. She's serving right now as the Grizzlies in serve receive. Good pass. They push it outside to Rabado, and it is a kill down the line, I think. It is. She definitely got a hold of it. The question was, was it in or out? So close. That was a tough call for the defender, knowing whether she needed to take a swipe at it or watch it. Serve for Sierra Sanchez. Back set. Nice dig for the Grizzlies. But it comes back with a kill on the outside from Natanya Allison. Credit. Number 16, Annalise Lucio for being able to make a nice dig. 21 serving 22. Schlosser, tip shot is good for Mulkey. So Adam State wins the point. They now take the 23-21 lead. And McCaskill will serve. She's had a good match here. Flat serve, that was a good one. On the outside, block, party for Shannon Mulkey. And now the Grizzlies set point, trying to take a 2-0 lead in the match. The set was off, so they really couldn't get a good attack there, and that is how the second set will finish, 25-21. Adam State takes a 2-0 commanding lead. We'll come back with set number three after this timeout. You're watching the Brick Care Lady Buff Classic here on the Lone Star Conference Digital Network. WT student athletes drink low-fat chocolate milk post-workout because it helps replenish and restore muscles quickly to their peak potential. Scientific studies suggest that the immediate benefits of low-fat chocolate milk include boosted performance, improved training, and higher recovery rates in athletes. Add low-fat chocolate milk to your post-workout routine. Go Bucks! Stores and Windows began serving the Texas Panhandle in 1927, and we take pride in being a part of your neighborhood. We don't use false promises or gimmicks. We simply offer quality doors and windows at a fair price, and we stand behind every sale. Jenkins is family owned and operated and proudly continues the traditions of quality and excellence that started over 80 years ago. Call us at 372-4336 or stop by our showroom at 820 West 6th and let our knowledgeable staff help you pick out the perfect doors and windows for your home.
Welcome back to Brick Care Court at the Box, home campus of West Texas A&M University. Lucas Kinsey alongside my producer, Chris Jaquist, and the Thunder Vision production team bringing you this third match of the day. As you see there, Adam State has the 2-0 lead, hitting percentage. Big, big deficit there, 324 to 0 .095. The other category to look at, kills 30 to 21 and digs 33 to 28. So Adam State really uh, bringing a little bit more of a fight so far than the Falcons of UTPB, but we did see UTPB mount a nice comeback to get back into that second set. The first set, 25-17, Adam State. The second set, 25-21, Adam State. And the Falcons will serve first here in set number three. Overpass leads to an easy kill. That ball ricocheted off of Eileen Bugas. As you see here, when you pass, whoops, coming right back at you. Placio will serve. A whistle and a call against the Falcons. Net violation point to Adam State, 1-1. One, one. This Adam State team yet to ha have a victory, but they have played tough. They have competed all weekend long. Roll shot, falls. Nicely done there on the outside for the Falcons. You'll see it here. Drop down. And that's an ace. Nice done. Uh, nice job of serving there as the last two points have come from Isela Murillo. She got the kill, and then she followed it up with a service ace. 3-1 lead for the Falcons. Mulkey couldn't get down that first kill. Nice dig on the back row from Lucio. Attack. Handled easily. Rabido. Ooh. I called that one out. It was close. It just just barely went wide. Serve. Passing is a little off to start this third set for Adam State. There's a good one. They get it up to Rabideau. Good passing, good defense by the Falcons. Block goes out of bounds. Point UTPB. So after dropping the first two sets, the Falcons responding nicely here in set number three. That will give a point back to Adam State on the service error. Hit the net. And so we'll see Alexandra McCaskill go back to serve. The righty. Low line drive serve. Good touch. Slows that kill shot down. Rabideau, misfired, goes out, point back to the Falcons, six will be serving two. Rabideau with eight kills on 18 attacks. Doggett, bump set back on the back row attack. Way out of system right now, the Grizzlies are. Can the Falcons take advantage? Strambler. Oh, look at that. She hit that one off the chest of the defender for Adam State, Eileen Bugas. And they call double touch there, seven serving two. The kill to Strambler. Much need a point there. And that was Shannon Mulkey. Mulkey has nine kills. Rabido with eight. Cy Collins with six. And McAskill has five. Adam State trails by four. 
They lead the match 2-0. Serve, hit the tape, drop backwards. Wrong direction for the Grizzlies, right direction for the Falcons. Eight serving three. Pass kind of goes sideways there, and so free ball coming for UTPB. There's a good pass from Sepega. Hustle from Doggett to keep it alive. Overpass, block touch, slows it down, whistle. Violation, point, Falcons. Okay, timeout here for Adams State as they trail by six. We're back after these messages. The Lady Buff Brick Care Classic continues right after this. It's got the looks, the style, the performance. Your new car is everything you always dreamed of, and now it's here. First Financial Bank was happy to help put you behind the wheel with a new car loan at a competitive rate and fast, friendly, local approval. It's service that just comes naturally to us, much like a love of tradition comes naturally to you. First Financial Bank, you first, member FDIC. Jenkins Doors and Windows began serving the Texas Panhandle in 1927, and we take pride in being a part of your neighborhood. We don't use false promises or gimmicks. We simply offer quality doors and windows at a fair price, and we stand behind every sale. Jenkins is family-owned and operated, and proudly continues the traditions of quality and excellence that started over 80 years ago. Call us at 372-4336 or stop by our showroom at 820 West 6th and let our knowledgeable staff help you pick out the perfect doors and windows for your home. Back to the action here as explanation uh, being given from the down ref over to Adam State head coach Lindy Mortensen along with the setter Bailey Slosser. It's going to be a point for UTPB. It's interesting with this the game of volleyball. It's so fast paced. But then they've got these calls that are made, and then it slows down, and we get a decision from the official, an explanation, and now we play on. Roll shot handled by the Falcons. Good pass there from McCaskill. Bump outside to Collins. Good dig from Doggett. But her teammate hustling over trying to keep the ball alive. Could not do so. Good hustle nonetheless. Point to Adam State. Devin Alcosa. Playing setter right now for the Falcons. Pushes it back to Strambler. Good night, sweetheart. That one went straight down. Here it is again, Strambler. Not too far off the 10 foot line. And when the outside hitters are able to do that, that spells trouble for the defense. Serve, nearly down for an ace, kept alive by Sanchez. Collins. Falcons have done a better job slowing down the attack from Adam State. Kept alive, good hustle by Doggett. Falcons stay in it. It's a big rally here. And a point for number 14, Chasey Block. Adam State. As you see here, they run that slide, the back set, and an opening that Block was able to find. Five point deficit for the Grizzlies. Again, third set. Adam State won the first two, but UTPB has been in control in this third set. Left handed serve, loft, handled. Block touch, nice defense. Another good job there at the net. 
Collins will push it over. So free ball here for UTPB. Block touch again. In. In system. The Falcons. Definitely have changed some things up, and they are playing with a lot of confidence right now, leading 11-5, a service ace from number 14. April Eglu, another timeout here for Lindy Mortensen's team as they're seeing this one slip away in the third set, trailing 12-5. We're back after this timeout. Volleyball continues after these messages. Choosing the right countertops for your kitchen can be tricky. Nowadays, there are hundreds of colors, patterns, and textures and materials that range from natural to engineered stone. Marble Depot is here for you throughout every step of the process. And yes, we do have a lot of options that might make that decision a little harder. See the score there, 12-5 UT Permian Basin. Trying to keep this match alive. They Took losses in the first and second sets by the score of 25-17, 25-21. Grizzlies have been out of system, though, throughout this third set. Miss Q again. Attack error from the right side. Gives the Falcons another point. 13-5. And as talented as all these teams are, it is tough to get a sweep. We've only, I've only seen one of those uh, in the box this weekend. That was last night when West Texas A&M swept Fort Lewis. Another good kill. That one came from up at the net there for the Falcons. Macy Barker. Collins tried to get one over. And a violation net, violation against Adam State as the ship seems to be sinking here in the third set for Adam State. And I give all the credit in the world to the Falcons for stepping up their play after losing the first two sets. Collins rolls it, handled easily by Mario. And that attack and error that goes into the net, and that snaps this run that UT Permian Basin was on. Six serving 15. Good serve. But it's a point for the Falcons. Sixteen, serving six, here's how it went. Dive to the floor, and then attack down and good by Tory McGee. Give the assist to Alcoster, who for the match now has nine assists. That shot wide and out. So another point for the Falcons, attack error. 17, serving six. There's a big swing and a kill from McCaskill on the right side. Good pass, good back set, executed well. Seven, serving 17. Block goes off and out, point UTPB. 
Strong swing. Give the kill. And again, the passing much improved in this third set for UTPB. Or on the other side, it's been more of a struggle for the Grizzlies. That one, an unorthodox point, but one that Adam State will take, trailing by 10 points. A bump that just goes over the net, but over the head. The attack off the mark and out. Another point for Adam State. So a couple of points in a row here for the Grizzlies. They still trail though by nine. Stuff down by Tori McGee in the middle. She'll come to the bench, get a breather, and April Egg we will check in. Nineteen serving nine. Service error results in a point for Adams State. So it will be coming in to serve number nineteen. Keely Shea Sapega. Just a freshman, a lot of youth on this Adam State roster. Swing is out. Off the mark from Stephanie Sanchez. If you're Adam State, I feel like if you can get this lead trimmed to five, maybe. I feel like you're putting a little pressure on the Falcons. That's a lot of pressure coming off of the ball as they set Strandboard on the outside and she crams it down for the kill. Twenty serving eleven now. Out, good eyes, service error, point back to the Grizzlies. Serve coming from Mulkey. Called a double on UTPB against Alcoser. But UTPB wins the next point because of a service error. Two subs in for the Falcons. One of those, the server. Number two, Erica Lozano. Service ace. This one hasn't been close the entire time. This has been all Falcons. After they dropped the first two sets, UTPB has woken up. Again, Doggett, she's been very good in terms of defensively. Misfire on the attack. For the Falcons, they have two players in double figures with Diggs. Izella Maria with 10. Daly Doggett has 11. On the other side, Sierra Sanchez leads the Grizzlies with 10 digs. Tip shot is down for another kill. Falcons two points away from taking this set. It's almost like one where if you're Lindy Mortensen, you say, you can see this one, we just haven't been playing well. And you want to move on to the, the fourth set. There's a good kill by Chasey Block. This is what Adam State has needed a lot more of in system plays. Serve coming. 
set was low. And McGee, really not much she could do with that one. 16, serving 23. Serve coming from Bugas. Block will ricochet out of bounds, and the point will go to the Falcons, and they are one point away from winning this fourth, uh, this third set, excuse me, and forcing a fourth. Slosher sets it up. There's, there was a touch. I was going to say it looked like the, the ball, the fly the ball changed. So touch call point for Adam State, 17, serving 24. Still set point. Sanchez gets it over. Good dig. Rabideau, hard swing, but dug back. Right side, still can't get it through. Good defense by the Falcons. Tip shot, nearly dropped. Slosser, Mulkey, got it. Six point deficit. 18 serving 24. Sanchez out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Durango High School. Good hustle. They keep the ball alive, and Rabideau has a chance at a kill. Good dig from Doggett, though. Going to keep this one in play? No, did not go in front of the antenna. Went behind it, and so that's the way this third set will finish. As you see there, they get it up. But right there it goes the opposite side, and so it's a point four. UTPB, they win the third, and we're going to a fourth, 25-18. We're back after these messages here on the Lone Star Conference Digital Network. WT student athletes drink low-fat chocolate milk post-workout because it helps replenish and restore muscles quickly to their peak potential. Scientific studies suggest that the immediate benefits of low-fat chocolate milk include boosted performance, improved training, and higher recovery rates in athletes. Add low-fat chocolate milk to your post-workout routine. Stores and Windows began serving the Texas Panhandle in 1927, and we take pride in being a part of your neighborhood. We don't use false promises or gimmicks. We simply offer quality doors and windows at a fair price, and we stand behind every sale. Jenkins is family owned and operated, and proudly continues the traditions of quality and excellence that started over 80 years ago. Call us at 372-4336 or stop by our showroom at 820 West 6th and let our knowledgeable staff help you pick out the perfect doors and windows for your home. We will start the fourth set. Adam State still leads, but they had a chance for the sweep. We're not able to do so. They lead 2-1 in 
the match right now. And that third set, it was all Falcons. They're led right now by Aquincia Strambler. She's got 13 kills, hitting 346. Seven kills for Tori McGee, four for Natanya Allison. But defensively, they picked it up in that last set. Isela Murillo with 11 digs, 13 digs for Daly Doggett. Also from the setter positions, Annalise Lacio, 18 assists. 10 assists from Devin Alcoser and Adam State their hitting percentage has dropped uh, it was over 300 now at 241 for the match Falcons hitting 138 and McGaskill serves first to start the fourth set big swing that's going to be a kill through the hands of the defender Give Stephanie Sanchez a kill and give the Falcons a 1-0 lead. Roll shot, good defense. Strambler was there the whole time. Another kill, Falcons start the fourth set just like they were playing in the third with plays like this. Some powerful offense. The slide goes off the block, and a point for Adam State. And Mulkey looks back to her team, giving some encouragement, trying to get the confidence level back up for Adam State, which they had all the momentum through the first two sets. Set to the outside, Strambler. And it was a great dig, but the ball ricocheted so high that it was hard for Mulkey to track it down and try to get it over the net. So it's a point on a kill from Strambler, 3-1. Lead for UTPB. Strambler's 14th kill of the match. Collins has been trying that tip shot, and Falcons have been ready for it every time. See if she comes with some power this time. She does, and it works. Sometimes you will hear coaches tell their hitters, keep swinging. Keep swinging, and eventually you'll get one of those shots to go through the block and either go out of bounds or drop down for a kill. That will be a kill, and right now, the Falcons are doing such a good job with their passing game that they're making it very easy in terms of Strambler getting excellent opportunities. I also give credit to the setters for UT Permian Basin. Collins, last two points for Adam State have come from number nine off of her big swing. Good defense there on the dig from Schlosser. Collins again. So it's almost like she heard me. The last three attacks from Collins, there has been no finesse. It has been strictly power from Cy Collins. Float serve. We're tied at four. Points. Down the middle, it was... April Egwu that found an opening. Five serving four here. Bump set up, Collins tips it over. Another point there. I need a lot more than that. 
Here's a set from Slosser. They try to slide. It drops in. Another point. 5-5. Five, five. Is that right? Nope. 6-5. There we go. UTPB leading by one. The jump serve coming for the Grizzlies. They kept that one alive. And Rabideau says, I'll take a swipe at this ball. And she puts it down. Tied six all. Jump serve coming. Pushed outside, block touch. And now Adam State getting back into a rhythm and Rabideau getting into a rhythm. Gets a kill. Seven six Grizzlies. It's all about being comfortable, about being in system. And in that last set, it was UTPB that controlled it. That's out. Another point for Adam State and Tim Loesch. Let's see if he's going to call a timeout or just bring in some substitutes. Oh, they called that one uh, against Adam State. Lindy Mortensen is going to call for a review on this, so we'll wait and see what the outcome is. We'll step aside, take a quick timeout, come back. Right now, the scoreboard shows seven all, and we're back with more volleyball after this timeout on the Lone Star Conference Digital Network. J. Ferg Roofing has been protecting our community for 15 years. With more than 30,000 homes and businesses protected by our roofing work, we're proud of our ability to provide efficient, lasting solutions for your roofing needs. What makes us stand out from the competition is that we work for you, a dedicated team member who guide you every step of the way. That is the J. Ferg Advantage. Quality, experience, fast pass scheduling, customer rewards, we have it all. Call J. Ferg Roofing today for a free inspection. We are J. Ferg Roofing. We are more. Brett Care Court here at the Box, home campus of West Texas A&M University. And they confirmed that point for UTPB. Got a chance to be joined now by one of the legends here oh. at West Texas A&M. Brad Stark, public address announcer, coming up to chat with me. Here's Adam State on the attack. Goes into the net, and the point will be for the Falcons. So, Brad, just like me, you've seen some great volleyball uh, throughout the last two days. Your thoughts on getting the season started again, these teams that we've seen, great competition, but it's been a lot of fun for these ladies to be playing again in the fall. Before I even go there, Lucas, I've, I've got to tell you, you use that term legend pretty loosely. <laughs> you really do. But, no, it has been a great tournament. And year after year, it is a great tournament. Yeah. And the Lady Bucks are so fortunate to have a group like Britcare to sponsor this each year. But some of the preeminent programs of the nation show up for this every year. And, uh, you know, it really is an opportunity for some of the teams that may not see some of the ranked talent in the nation yeah. to come in and play them here. But um, it is, it's been a great tournament, but man, is it hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that one before, Brad, oh, no. uh, over here in the box. The point yeah. goes to the Falcons. They lead 9-8. So you mentioned Brick Care and obviously uh, the, the outstanding job that they've done in sponsoring and, and also their name is on the court. And so talk about what you have heard players, coaches, and maybe even some of the fans saying well, the as name that of one the goes surface, down about the court. The, the name of the surface that they're actually playing on kind of escapes me right now, but it is state-of-the-art. Yes, one thing uh, Terraflex. I, Terraflex, yes, Terraflex. And it is wall-to-wall -wall in here, all the way under the bleachers and everything, a very expensive floor, and, and God bless Brit Care for ponying up and, uh, and help to pay for this, this amazing facility. But what I've heard from the coaches is it's not so much the spring that the athletes get okay. going up to hit, it's the it's the force that's absorbed by the floor when they when they hit the when they go back down and hit the floor. It's supposed to reduce injuries, take a lot of stress off the ankles, knees, and hips, and um, they think uh, they think it's going to be great, especially for the Lady Buff volleyball program to to condition and play on this surface. That was a service ace there for UT Permian Basin as they're trying to crawl back in even up this match they trail 2-1 they lead in this fourth set 11-9 
switch gears just for a little bit, Brad, and talk about the Lady Buffs, who we will have one more match uh, at following this one. We They're will, off- and I think the match with uh, Arkansas Fort Smith is going to tell a lot about where the Lady Buffs are at this point in the season. Okay, so talk about that. You've seen Arkansas Fort Smith. They haven't lost a match yet. They haven't, and they have some great hitters. They really do an outstanding setter. I think that probably the advantage that WT may have would be on the back row okay. uh, compared to Arkansas Fort Smith. I don't think that they've got quite the experience, you know, of a Chandler uh, Vogel and, and some of these freshmen that WT is rolling out on the some back row talent, this year. Huh? Is, is, uh, th- their, their level of play is just outstanding. But I really do think that uh, it may come down to defense. I really think that it will. And uh, hopefully WT may have the advantage um, here I am playing the homer now. Sure. But, <laughs> you can but, do that. That's all okay. right. Okay, that's, that's okay. But I, I really think the WT is possibly going to have the advantage when it does come to that. But um, uh, the one thing that really, really is uh, kind of a, I'm amazed by at this point, Lucas, is, is the fact that WT has so much depth compared to last year, not only through the hitters in the middle position and at setter. Obviously, yeah. with Blair Moreland now playing with Sadie Snay, and uh, um, I, I think uh, I think WT is going to have a great season. I do. There's another point there for the Falcons as they extend their lead up to four, and we will see a timeout taken. We'll keep it here. I'll continue to visit a little bit with Brad as uh, we get that replay going, and you see that 14-10 Falcons lead by four. Brad, you've uh, you've done this public address thing for a few years. Right? Uh, yes, this is my uh, 40th season. Yeah. Because uh, I've got to get alive. <laughs> no, this is, <laughs> this is fun. I mean, this is fun. You get out here and you get to be around the college uh, athletes, the fans, the coaches. It's a fun atmosphere. Yeah. Talk about just being here and seeing all that you've seen. Well, this place is so rich in tradition, Lucas. And, and I'm talking about going back way into the even early 80s as the program was building at that time. But as you know, back in the – Mid '80s, when uh, when Kim Hudson came in and took over the program, um, and her recruiting talent was just off the charts, and she brought in the Brazilians. Uh, we had a, a great presence here, presence here with international students wanting to come in and play, and and that's kind of where it really got it started. Was about '88 through '92 when all the national championships uh, began coming in for WT. And uh, just a tremendous legacy of great, of great coaching, great recruiting, outstanding athletes. Amarillo, the, the Amarillo area, West Texas, yeah. the, the area in, in, in we, total is we've just seen a that. hotbed. We've seen that with some of the teams. Uh, I mean, Southwestern Oklahoma State, you know, some of the other programs that have had local talent on their right. rosters as well. You're right. You're right. And, it's, and I think that goes through the club system here locally and through the, the middle school and high school programs. We, uh, we are so blessed to have athletes that are just raised in the sport. And they're, the athletes and their families are so dedicated to their development. And, and uh, WT, over the years, has just really reaped the rewards from that. That's a service error committed there by UT Permian Basin, so it gives a point back to Adams State. Adams State, you know, there's been a lot of teams that I've seen this weekend that their record right now may be 0-3 or 1-2, but they've got some good talent, and you, you just talked about that with these teams looking for depth early in the season. A lot of times for a coach, this tournament is great for coaches mm-hmm. because you can kind of play with your rotations. You can play yeah. with your lineup and test out some of your new players. Do you feel like that's something the coaches have done this weekend? Oh, they have, and we will see a lot of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference throughout the season participating in different tournaments and, and, and matchups throughout our schedule. That is a, a, a very strong volleyball conference, and and I think it has a lot to do with the club system through Denver. Yeah, uh, through Denver. A lot of big Colorado tournaments Springs. are played there. Oh, some of the biggest in the world are held there, and it's a hotbed for for uh, high school and college volleyball as well. But really impressed with both of these teams, uh, UT Permian Basin and Adams State. They have uh, really added some tremendous players this year, and. Uh, pretty in awe of their uh, level of play this early in the season. Yep. Cy Collins will get this ball over, and it's dumped down. They left that one open in the middle, and Chasey Block, isn't that just a great name for a middle blocker, <laughs> Brad? <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> you got to love that, Chasey Block. It really Block. is. <laughs> but Coach, uh, Coach Lash, Coach uh, Mortensen, you talk about a couple of coaches with years and years of experience, and they know how to build programs. And um, I think both of them have done a great job with both of their teams. Coach Loesch, uh, obviously 
seven seasons at UTPB for uh, Adams State. Coach Lindy Mortensen has been there for several years. And uh, the team that we will see next, Arkansas Fort Smith, their mm-hmm. coach, Jane Sargent, 24 years That's right. in Arkansas. Yes, that's right. But uh, I'm not going to take anything away from the Lady Buffs on the, the coaching platform. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You know, and, and how great is it that Kendra Morgan has come home and uh, the fact that she was an All-American through all of those years and, and went on and, and followed Tony Greystone on down to, uh, to, the, to Texas A&M, Corpus yep. Christi, and, and, and just the fact that she did come back here to play. She is a recruiting force now again in the Texas Panhandle. And I guess you can already tell many of those players that came up through the Amarillo Public Schools um, they aren't leaving now. Right. They aren't leaving. They're kind of staying local again. And I think that has a lot to do with Kendra and what she's doing through her camp program and, um, and what she's, uh, she's getting out and talking to these athletes. Sure. And they want to come play here again. Well, before the season started when I was interviewing Sadie Snay, I asked her, you know, you've improved a lot over your career here at WT. And I said, what, what do you attribute that to? And the first thing she said was Coach Potts. Mm-hmm. She said, Kendra has taught me so much about setting. Yeah. And we're already seeing it like a freshman like Blair yeah. Borland come in and right. a talent. But when you can teach those players at one of the most important positions on the floor, it's mm-hmm. obviously very helpful. And, you know, an interesting fact was all through high school, uh, she, she came up through the Amarillo High School program. Kendra. She, uh, Kendra did, yes. Kendra did at, at, at that time. And, and, you know, she was not a setter. She was not a setter till she came to WT. She was an outside hitter. Wow. And Debbie Hendricks uh, and Tony Greystone were the coaches here at that time. And they made her a setter. And she still holds yeah. the uh, Lone Star Conference records for assists uh, in a season. And I th- believe she's still, like, in the top 15 in the NCAA. Wow. All time for assists. It's but hard, uh, It's hard just, to hold on to records like that. Yeah. <laughs> Point there for Adam State. And so the lead cut back to one. 17 serving 18. In system here. They get it. On the outside, and a quick hit over for Egwu. Gives the point to the Falcons. We could be going to five. The play at the net, so important. Those middle blockers, and that's a position that I think over the years has changed in terms of what coaches demand from their middle blockers. They push this to the outside. Rabideau, big swing, but a nice dig. Look at the play at the net. They'll try again. Easy up there. Back set, and McCaskill gets the kill down. All right, Brad, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me. And we uh, just, good we luck. We appreciate your broadcast. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Brad Stark, public address announcer there for West Texas A&M. And uh, one of the best at what he does for sure. Gets the crowd excited here at the box. Right now, Adam State is excited because they win the point and they have tied it up 19 all. Again, for the match, it's a 2 1 lead. Adam State. Every point matters here. Good pass from Slosser. Trying to get the timing down. Rabideau has it blocked straight back. She'll try again. Touch. That may have gone out, but they'll play on. And that's a kill on the outside by Izella Murillo. Good athleticism to shift over and get her feet set. Eye the ball to the hand. You see these hitters just throughout uh, an entire match to swing and swing and swing and you forget about what it takes in terms of footwork just to get ready to swing. There's a kill in the middle for the always energetic Shannon Mulkey. Mulkey leading her team as she ties up the set. She's got 14 kills and she's hitting 519. Captain's going to come over and talk to the up ref. As we're tied up 20 all. 
There's a look at number 16, Annalise Lucio, 5'8 senior from Justin, Texas. Get, getting the explanation from the up ref, and she'll go back and explain it to her head coach. <laughs> and we'll come back. This is the part of the game of volleyball, I gotta just admit. I coached basketball uh, for 10 years and broadcast basketball, obviously, along with uh, football. And in the game of basketball, there's a constant conversation, chatter, most of the time healthy. Sometimes officials would say unhealthy uh, co uh, communication between coach and official. Volleyball is different. Volleyball, rarely do you uh, see coaches speaking with the official, especially the up ref. And so it's this, the captain comes over, visits with the official. The captain comes back, relays the message. Coach says, okay, now go ask this. And so we see this back and forth. Unorthodox for me, but again, differences in every sport. It will stay point Adams State, 20, serving 20. The slide, big swing. That's how you want the slide executed as they brought around for the kill, Chandra Reed. Excuse me, that was Tori McGee. Perfect assist from Lucio in the match. And Elise Lucio with 26 assists. And it's a one point advantage for UT Permian Basin here in set number four. Trying to force a fifth. The pass goes sideways, and so it's going to be a free ball here for the Falcons. Can they use it and get the point? Oh, what a dig from Sanchez. But it's another free ball for UTPB. That set came off a little funky there. Strambler has it blocked back, but she somehow gets it over. And then the point is won at the end from Sh Shannon Mulkey. Back and forth. What a rally that one was. So again, we're tied up at 21-21. Going back to serve. Keely Shea Sepega. Block in. Wow. That ball fell in the corner. Two or three players up at the net for Adam State. And it drops in. They give the block to Shannon Mulkey, 22 serving 21. Grizzlies three points away from a victory. Strambler says, hold that thought. And she just ties the set at 22 with a laser into the back corner. Watch this one. Dart, nobody back there to cover. Tied again, serve receive. So important here for Adam State. Mulkey wants the ball, gets it. The dig taken, and so they get a free ball. Back to Adam State. Mulkey slide in, point. We're seeing on both sides some players really step up and come through with some big plays like this one right there, Mulkey. See if UTPB can find a way to get Strambler involved on serve receive here. Good pass, they're gonna to go to Strambler. They block it back though on the touch. Strambler tries again, blocked back again. Good defense at the net from Adam State. But what a shot in the back corner again. Good for the point for the Falcons. Tying it up again, 23 all. That was Annalise Lucio that found the opening. Serve over. Good pass. Slosher sets it up for Collins. Oh, big swing. Kept alive. And the ball drifts over. The kill at the net. No violation against Adam State. So the Falcons 
get the point. It looked like Adam State had that point. Timeout taken as we look at the replay. What great hustle nearly to the bench, and that's where they got it right there. I think they called Chasey Block in the net, and that gave the point to the Falcons. So it's 24-23. We're back after this quick timeout. Falcons trying to force a fifth. Don't go anywhere. Volleyball continues after this. Jay Ferg Roofing has been protecting our community for 15 years. With more than 30,000 homes and businesses protected by our roofing work, we're proud of our ability to provide efficient, lasting solutions for your roofing needs. What makes us stand out from the competition is that we work for you, dedicated team members who guide you every step of the way. That is the Jay Ferg Advantage. Quality, experience, fast pass scheduling, customer rewards, we have it all. Call Jay Ferg Roofing today for a free inspection. We are Jay Ferg Roofing. We are more. So this, this match was really one where it started off and it was like one team was ready to go. The Adams State Grizzlies won the first two sets fairly easy. And in the third set, the Falcons of UT Permian Basin woke up, won the third. They're trying to win the fourth. Set point here to force a fifth. No. Cy Collins emphatically punches that one down. And ties it back at 24 all. For Collins, that was her 12th kill of the match. Serve from Slosser. Lucio pushes it outside to Strandmore. The tip, dig from Slosser. Lucio back to Strandmore again, and it's blocked back for the point for Adam State. And now the Grizzlies can win the match. Set point, match point for Adam State. Incredible block from Chasey Block and McCaskill. Lucio tries the dump. Good hustle to keep it alive on the back row. Strambler will tip. They keep it alive, and we play on. Nice up from Sanchez. Collins. And that is how this one will finish. Cy Collins with the kill off the touch from UTPB. And it's 26 to 24. Adam State wins the match. 3-1. What an incredible effort from both teams. And so Adam State gets the first victory of the weekend. They'll finish the tournament at 1-3. and three. UT Permian Basin with the loss finishes 2-2. Two and two. Congratulations both sides. Great job all the way around. We will step aside, take a break, and we will conclude the day with our final match. It'll be West Texas A&M taking on Arkansas Fort Smith. Thanks so much for watching this one here on the Lone Star Conference Digital Network.